So since you, you wrapped up playing softball, how has it, how has like your journey and kind of discovering your place in the softball space been? It's been fun. I mean, for the most part, I mean, I, I would say like there's a challenge of, um, I guess there's a, a, a bit of a challenge when, um, you know, like I talked about earlier, like how much, you know, I know that I want to explore more things in this world. Like how much do I want to stay in softball? You know, like I know that's not, not my end all be all, you know, but it is a huge part of me making a living and, yeah. um, you know, all those things. So it's your expertise it's my expertise and it's the thing I can talk about with my eyes closed. And it's the thing that I'm obviously the most comfortable talking about, but I don't want to get like, there's a part of me that doesn't want to get stuck in this area of just being super comfortable talking about things that are really, really easy, you know, Mm -hmm. doing the Ted talk and talking to a broader audience. Like that's what's challenging me. And like, that's one of the things that I said to myself when they were tired was like, I want to be challenged in different ways. And you know, I want to, I'm a person of integrity. So I want to like find those things that do challenge me. Um, but then again, like I want to leave an imprint in the game and still give value and still um, push the game forward because it's given us such a huge platform. It's given us so much. And I feel like I'm just like, I'm forever indebted to the game to continue to uh, pay it forward and, I don't know, like, so just that journey is, it's been like a, a the, this internal battle, like, I want to be in it, I want to give, 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 but I want to challenge myself, and mm-hmm. so challenging myself means, like, broader, bigger, um, not just staying in this, this lane of softball, but mm-hmm. um, I guess it's like finding that balance of, um, you know, I, I, I guess what I'm saying, I, 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 I'm kind of all, all over the place, but I guess I'm now finding that there is great balance of still challenging myself and I still can leave that imprint and I still can stay in the game. And, you know, we can do it in so many different ways now. Mm-hmm. We can do it um, with thanks to social media. We can still give value and give tips. And I've got my talk yeah. tips and, you know. Yeah. And, yeah, like it's been like, how can I be creative? How can I, you know, not necessarily like just go back into coaching because I'm not sure I'm passionate about that um, coaching collegiately or whatnot, but um, just being creative, um, mm-hmm. and figuring out ways to just stay in the game and still um, be a part of it. That's cool. That's I think it's a beautiful thing. It's not all over the place. Yeah. You have developed an expertise in softball and uh, you had a long, like crazy, beautiful career. And then that ended. And now you have to allow space for the new thing to grow. Right. And that is like an uncomfortable period of time, you know, because like how we are, it's like, you know, here's my goal. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z to reach that goal. And it's like actually a space where you have to be with yourself, you know, continuously ask yourself questions, Mm -hmm. continuously kind of um, follow the things you're curious about. Mm -hmm. And um, you may not know where it leads and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I think all of those things are like so important because I'm, I'm kind of like that way. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of like a cross pollinator, cross pollinator in the sense mm-hmm. of like, I've got this expertise in softball, but it's like, I like all these different things and I see the parallels and the similarities between all the things. And, you know, I mix this thing with this thing mm-hmm. and like, see what happens. And I think there's, uh, that space is, um, an important time. Right. And it's mm-hmm. like, you can't really rush through it. It has its right. own pace to it. Like, <laughs> right, right. And that's the thing too, exactly what you said. It's like, 
we're so used to like having this thing that we're like working towards immediately. Like, so I think that's been like the struggle. And I mean, I'm on year four since retiring and I feel like I should be, but I, you know, I feel like I've been doing things, but um, like that next big thing that like is it. And I don't know if we ever really come to it. And yeah. I guess I've been giving myself grace, but sometimes I'm like, okay, like I'm year four out, like I should be in like the next thing, but I guess I'm in the next thing. I don't know. It's mm-hmm. just all of mm-hmm. these crazy thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I have them all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I mean, this is great. Like, um, this is actually like therapy. I'm like, um, you feel it too, you know, but. Yeah, yeah. you know, we all go, uh, we all go through endings mm-hmm. and um most of the time we don't acknowledge them. We just kind of like go about our lives. And I think sometimes as we get older, especially when, right, you had this like long commitment to, to softball and it's like, just imagine a, a marriage ending and it's like having to, you still love the person. (laughs) Same. You have all this history Same. with it. You, you know, like, it's so comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> yes. And I like this. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. <laughs> right. And that, that, I mean, that's it. But it, it's, it, that's so true, Tess. Like, that's, <laughs> that's it. Like, it really is. And it's like, okay, like, I really want to, like, spread my wings. But and then there's a whole other thing whole other things with like spreading my wings and then like those are like the you know like can I go into a whole nother space like you know like am I enough am I good enough do I know you enough can. am I smart enough you like, can it, mm-hmm. right and it's like it's and then it's just that battle but then it's like okay well you know I guess figuring out that lane and then being able to take those like small baby steps and incremental steps and doing those little small things. But I guess the hard part is the space in between of finding the other yeah. lane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that's where I'm at. I mean, I'm, I, but I'm, I'm, I am doing so much. They're all like softball related, but all different random lanes, you know? So. Um, yeah. I've watched, uh, I think your game changer videos are really well done. I think they're awesome. Thanks. Thanks. And, you know, anyone who gets to watch those is, like, lucky to be able to kind of... I mean, I just think about this day and age. Like, who were you watching? We didn't get to watch anybody. And, like, now the players can basically pick up their phones and watch any professional do a workout, hit, field, throw... Like so many examples and vi- visible representation of <clears throat> people just like them. Yeah, it's insane. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, just lately I've been talking to a lot of kids on Zoom and like, I'm like, you guys, I know you guys hear that social media is like the distraction and all these things. But I'm like, you guys are living in like, one of the best times because of the access that you get to so much information and um, being able to like, I don't know, put themselves out there like as athletes, you know, like um, there's this young girl, I can't think of her handle, but she's always, I I follow her. She's super cute and Mm -hmm. she's posting daily her workouts and I'm like, you guys have this platform where you can showcase literally your talents and um, show who you are. And we talk about this recruiting age and um, college coaches, like you literally can like showcase your progress on social media and you can showcase the type of person you are. You can showcase your work ethic. Like I, I think social media is a beautiful thing when it's used in that way, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, obviously there are so many distractions of, you know, just things that you're feeding yourselves and all those things. But I, when I'm talking to them, I'm like, use this to your advantage and like, don't just scroll, you know, put Mm -hmm. some good stuff out there and showcase, 
you, you know? Uh, could you imagine having social media when we were growing up? It's crazy. Yeah. And the access to information. Probably too. get in trouble. One, <laughs> <same>. <laughs> I know, same. But just the access to information. So I don't yeah. know. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to evolve with like the fact, because at first I'm like, social media, it's stupid, it sucks, it's dumb, it's this, it's that, it's distracting. It's, it is, it's time waster, it's all these things, but like, let's, it's here. So, <laughs> yeah, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not going anywhere, and let's mm-hmm. use it in a positive way. So, there you go. Yeah.